QSL cards. I enjoy them and they're very pretty. The one you see in the inset was mine, W4TKI. The others here are some that I've gotten recently from the Bureau. First one has a Kiwi on it. It's uh, from New Zealand. Wasn't very good propagation that day. I've only got a 229 uh, signal report. This Russian card is attractive. It's got a tower and a fellow operating at his desk. And I was had a better signal on that one, 5 by 9 and 9. So uh, that was August the 10th, 2014. This next Russian card is a bit plain, but it's still good to get a card from uh, Russia. Worked him on phone, and the signal report is 5 by 9 and you can see in the box next to it, it's single sideband. Now starting with a few Japanese cards, and the Japanese count can be very pretty. They have some pretty cards. The first one is Mount Fuji. The next one's a little plainer, but it has a very pretty drawing on it. And I enjoy working in Japan. This one shows uh, someone operating with a strange piece of equipment. I'm not sure what that equipment is, but it's a real interesting uh, card there operating that. Next is the back of the card, and on a lot of Japanese cards, they give you a signal report and all your information of the contact is on the back. And they have this design on lots of Japanese. Then I have one from Patagonia, which is uh, down in the very bottom of Argentina, right near Antarctica, and it's a very, very cold place. Work a lot of interesting places uh, in the ham radio and learn a lot about the world. Then this one is a very colorful German card. And the next one is from Lima, Peru. Then we got one from Belize, the only English-speaking nation in Central America. And uh, as I said, I learned a lot about the world from these. And then there's Honduras here in Central America. And the next one is Lithuania, former Soviet Republic, which is on its own now. And the next one is Estonia, which is also one of the Baltic countries and it's on the Baltic Sea and it uh, was a former Soviet uh, Republic. The next one with the old car is the only U.S. card I have in this bunch. Now I just thought it was really neat with the old car on it and it's in black and white which gives it a lot of character. Then next to last, we have this interesting Russian. It's kind of a Baroque-looking uh, guy operating on his, uh, uh, at his uh, old uh, rig there. The last one is a shortwave listener card. Shortwave listener card from Sweden. Before, some countries will give you a ham license. You have to be a shortwave listener for so long. So they send cards and get verification from ham. You have to be a shortwave listener first, and you listen for stations talking and send them. And they get so many of them, then they're allowed to uh, apply for their ham rights license where they can talk. Uh, the last one on there is mine, and I took a picture of the big oak in the park at uh, Fowler Park at Geneva. Uh, the only thing I worry about, it's a little bit dark. I need to lighten it up a bit. So I guess that's all for now, folks. We'll see you later, and have a great one.